And welcome back to Fantasy Star 4 on the Strategy Guides. So, we're here with the, in the place that has the dancing girls. Let's go back to Lots of flashing lights. <laughs> My, I'm so honored that you're here, Elise. It inspires me to do well. Okay. In times like this, those in the hunting profession seem to be doing well. But the monsters have become very strong. Apparently, only the most skilled hunters are still in business. That fact is reflected by how painfully few customers there are. Stop walking sideways. <laughs> are you insist? Are you insinuating that I'm purposely withholding information about the best jobs? How dare you think that? I swear by my good name that that kind of thing absolutely never happens here. Now please go back to the front area. Wait! Don't touch that. No, those are important documents that have been accumulated up till now. They have all the best jobs I'm withholding from you. I mean, um. Treasure! Try me. And. Maceta. Oh, I've been, uh. Level grinding! You will. At least level slow. Let's see if I can get out of here with that. Yes, I managed not to. That one thing will trigger if you step within a certain spot. Let's see, have I talked to some of these people? Hey, Elise, the usual? Sorry, I just don't feel like it today. Here, I'll see you some other time. <laughs> my, my, Elise is quite a looker. But aren't you a cutie pie, too? Uh, uh. Cut it out, you! <laughs> <laughs> There's been a big army going... In and out of that cave up north. It must be Zio's troops that we've, we've been hearing about. <laughs> hey, Elise, you're still as attractive as ever. Why don't you go out with me once in a while? Thanks. I'll consider it. I'll consider it when you become more of a man. <laughs> I, I, I hate it when they walk away at the last second. Monsters have recently become extr extremely strong, making combat with them difficult. I'd better think about a new profession pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> this is just between you and me. I gave up north, up to the north of Idio bleeds to the area beyond the hills. No one who's ever gone to the cave come back alive. I wonder what's there. Sio, I don't know who hired me. Uh, okay, I think I've talked to this guy. Infinite lives aren't enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, we don't have the ability to just put in a code to give us, you know, 255 lives. <laughs> uh, then, uh, okay. Oh, I also bought the uh, new weapons for everyone. New weapons, new armor. All bought in these shops here, which huh. are actually one shop connect. Once you go inside, they're connected. There's a lot of hunters in this town, so it's kind of dangerous, but on the other hand, we're safe if any monsters appear. There are some benefits to having all these hunters here. <sighs> oh. that, play, that piece of slime who went with my daughter? It still makes me mad when I think about him. <laughs> it seems like the town of Nala is having some kind of trouble. I wonder if my daughter's all right. I'm so worried. Come on, stop stalk. Stop stalking. Stop stalking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're sulking. We should invite her over. This is why voice actors don't do their crap in real time. It sounds glamorous to live in such a big town, but we don't get. We do get a lot of undesirable hunter types. With the guild and all. I mean, there's Hunter, there's Ranger, there's Force. <laughs> it's not a very good thing in terms of giving a child an education. I, I, I want to... I don't want to! I don't want to what? I, come back here! <laughs> <laughs> Get back here, you little blonde brat! <laughs> you trapped him <laughs> in the corner! Hey, wait, you little brat! It's like... 
you chased him all around just do that. It honestly looked like you cornered him, like you were going to punch him into submission. Like, you will listen to me! <laughs> ah, Elise, thank you for giving me that food you cooked the other day. It was all delicious. I'll wash the containers and return them to you. You can cook, Elise? People are so unpredictable. Oh, cut it out. What's the big deal? <laughs> <laughs> hey, talk yeah. to the fat guy. That's strange. I could have sworn that I put it away in here. Hey, my secret save! Yikes! What the heck are you guys doing here? Don't you have the decency to at least knock? <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any secret treasure. Uh, stop wasting time. There doesn't seem to be any secret treasure. <laughs> you just examine everything. It's like, nope, no treasure here. Uh, I, I hold down... <sighs> and this house... Ah, we're finally home. Shall we take it easy and rest for the day? Okay, let's be up bright and early tomorrow. This is Chaz and Elise's house. Oh. This is my own cabin. I can open it freely. Let's see what's in it. There's a bunch of underwear in here. <laughs> It's a special workout. It's a special training workout Elise made. It's pretty strenuous. The books are left out. It's you, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> She's saying it's his fault. Because that's his room. Ah, uh, 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 Elise's cabinet! What are you stuttering for? <laughs> I, I can't examine them here. It's a full-length mirror. Don't get it dirty, Chaz. <laughs> what are you implying? <laughs> it's a cabinet that contains Elise's most treasured belongings. It's a kitchen. Of course it's clean since we're washing it all the time. <laughs> I'm saying things for the player's convenience. It's a cabinet for dishes. Of course it's neat, since we're always putting it in order. <laughs> I've come from Zema to peddle my wares, but look at this town. It's already got a pretty impressive marketplace, but I still have to sell the wares I brought. Otherwise, I'll be embarrassed to go home. And you never get to shop from that guy, even though he says he's going to sell his wares. Adios Market is just as impressive as I heard it was, even though all the crap in here is, like, low-level stuff. Mommy, I'm bored, let's go home! Uh, you! <laughs> Oof, I bought so much stuff, it's hard to carry everything. What possessed me to buy such a thing? It's kind of frightening how you can... How you can't stop shopping when you get caught up in excitement of the moment. STEAM SALES! <laughs> GAME NEW! <laughs> this is the biggest market in all Matavia. We don't have to go all over to find the town to find stuff. We can pretty much find everything here. Except everything's junk compared to what they see. Oh. We traveled all the way here to shop the market, but... We used all our money with travel expenses. Actually, we don't have money to pay for our rooms, but we haven't been able to uh, ooh, admit it and have kept on staying. But what shall we do? Say, why don't we climb out the window during the night? And by the way, if you stay here, in is that okay? Come on, hurry up! Qu quietly, quietly! Hey, wait, sis, don't leave me behind! Wah! Well, what's that sound? Oh, uh, oof! Hey, you guys! Hey, you! Wait, don't you dare run away! Wah, please forgive us! No, wait, you rascals, you shameless brats! Take them away! Wah! 
Thank you. And now... And now... Up here... They're in jail! <laughs> we tried to escape during the night, but we got caught. We're ex-convicts now! No one will marry us! You'll be surprised. Guarding a prison is no easy job. It's so boring. It sure is boring around here. <laughs> I'd just like to point out that, uh... It, we're ten minutes in, the only thing we've done is talk to people! <laughs> Sorry. This is probably going to be the last episode we have Elise in. So, I just wanted to go around town showing her reactions to people. Spoiler? Oh no. <laughs> oh, this is a great uh, XP grinding trick. Okay, so kill two of these guys and leave two of them alone. And they'll fuse into this. They'll always do that if there's only two, if there's just two of them. And then uh, at least we use the death, and everybody else will just death victory. One of those fuse guys is worth 400 XP. The soul slugs on their own are worth only uh, 42 XP. Huh. Eh, you know what? I've... I've grinded up quite enough. Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to select the fence on him. Oh, oh well. See, if I let them merge, I would have gotten a whole lot more XP than that. Oh, that guy looks... They look like they're wearing glasses. Like, big white glasses. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hello, Elise. I'm your admirer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is funny. <laughs> Marvin one and Marvin two. I've had enough with both of you. <laughs> yes. Now die. I can't believe we spent almost eleven minutes just talking to people. <laughs> And it was still more entertaining than doing anything we did in Fantasy Star th three. 1, 2, yeah, or, or three. 3. Just, that's that's the thing about good RPGs, is you don't even have to be battling sometimes. You know? Oh no, the Marvins are back. <laughs> Will you go out with us, Elise? We like Me you. shit. <laughs> Here's my answer. <laughs> Moonshed! That paralyzes all enemies. You see, their eyes stop glowing, so that means they're paralyzed. <laughs> uh, I wanted to show you my science fair project! <laughs> Not interested. <laughs> I wanted to show you my sword! Definitely not interested. Hey, they're not real bad guys. They're cosplayers! <laughs> No, they're How do you like my Ryu Hayabusa cosplay, Elise? No, uh, they're they're I meant I almost said Loon's Army. Oh, that was Fantasy Star. Loon's <laughs> Army. Please do not bring up that game. I'm sorry. It 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 just ingrained itself into my subconscious. Wow. This place. This is the town of Cadre. Have you come to visit Zayu's church as well? I just wanted to point out that. It would have taken the entire episode to get out of that cave if we were playing any other game in the series. Zayus says that the, that the end of this world is coming soon. I wonder if that's true. It's true. I don't know. Talk to the bald guy. That inn in the back of the town. I, I, used to frequent, I used to frequent that place, but recently I can't even get in if I wanted to. What the heck? Oh, Zio, the Holy One! <laughs> I've never seen that in a Fantasy Star game. This is a church where we worship the great Zio. Zio says he's going to cleanse this soiled land with the fires of destruction. And then he's going to build a utopia society populated with only the finest citizens. How wonderful the thought makes me tingle! Only, it's only we believers that Zio will lead to the new world. 
Those ignorant masses living in idleness. These are exactly the people that should be purged at the hands of... I have one question. What is Bomberman doing here? <laughs> Look, he's got the ball in the back of the head. <laughs> and the... We, we, the believers of Sio, are the chosen people. I came here from the Motavia Academy. School work is so stupid. Okay. Sio is at the fort where he teaches and guides us. How thankful we are to him. Sio! No one other than Zio can save us from the uncleanliness of Motavia. Ah, glory be to you, Zio. He's fainted. How, how frightening. That Zio's fort, which soars just east of Cadorhari. It's our symbol. It's our castle of hope. Only after the destruction can we create a new world. Candles! Candles! Oh, no, wait, I don't want to... Oh, this is not Castlevania. Um, I've been right. Playing. I would recommend that we end the episode soon, because we're 16 minutes in. Uh, so I did not mean for this to be so long. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to find the weapon shop. Where's the weapon shop? That's, I, uh, there's the badge. There's the item shop. Of, where's the weapon shop? Is there a weapon shop in this town? I don't see one. Nope. Excuse me, can I ask you something? Do you believe in Sia's teachings? No! In that case, become one of us at once. Otherwise, you might be purged by. Yeah, um... Alright. So, I didn't get to everything I wanted to do in this episode, but next episode will be in Zaya's Fort. Bye. We talk with everyone!